today's stream is going to begin with the driver development points system because we do have one for piastri and i think smoothness is the one we're going to continue to grow adaptability up to 16 might be good as well i think so you know what i might do just adaptability i'm just going to keep going on smoothness let's keep boosting a smoothness so that it's higher up than 52. Uh, is there anything i need to worry about here um engine seems to be okay at this time car 2 also has okay engine Worst case scenario, we'll drop down to one of these, which is on 48% wear and 44% wear. Um, it's not all too bad. ERS-wise, I think both cars are in okay ERS range, except for this one, 36, okay. And gearbox, let's quickly check. This one's still on 41. I think today might be the last Grand Prix for car one's gearbox. Then we'll move on to four. Oh, we got our scout reports here. Um, Bono. What do we know about him? Uh, salary is currently 1.9 mil a year. Buyout fee is 1.2 mil. One year remaining, we're also okay. Huh. Pick crew management 84, communication 99, feedback 96. Very strong, but he is uninterested. Hmm. Of course. Let's go back and see the other scouting that we did on Enrico Cardil, Cardile open the negotiation he's at Ferrari of course contracts on three mil a year wow I think we need to get our performance targets in and I think qualifying position of P8 or better is all right reach for Q2 is also guaranteed since we're aiming for Q3 today fastest lap for any race session sure and we're good so Dutch Grand Prix time. So let's try to get the setup as good as possible. I guess we can just leave the setup as is. They're all in optimal range and then we'll adjust in FP2. Yeah, I wanna drop the traction a little bit. Yeah, that might be good. Ooh, a lot of grip penalties up and down the order here. Sainz, Verstappen, Hamilton, Bottas, and Gasly. Uh, down in P12 and P13 for Duan and Piastri though, so their confidence might be low. 62% is not that bad. Let's try this. Um, there we go. Optimal, and then I think some of these are moved enough. P9 for Piastri. Nice. Ahead of Pierre Gasly. Uh, Fernando Alonso down in P11. He might still be a little upset with his setup. 66 and 71. It's not looking bad. Yeah, let's... let's Let's do that. Try to get that as close as possible. I think this should be a lot better than P11 and P12. Hmm. I don't know. I have... Oh, settle confidence is looking pretty good, I gotta say. Maybe some minor adjustments will help us with a stronger... Oh boy. How does that... Maybe? It's all in optimal range. So I think we could just keep it, right? I'm not going to touch 91% confidence is a lot, so I don't want to go down to the 80s. Something good, hopefully. Piastri is a lot faster than Alonso here, I think. Boom. Alonso is on a 109.9. Piastri might be faster. Just a couple hundredths. No, one tenth. One tenth is the difference. All right. Good lap from Piastri. I think we're all through. P12 for Alonso and P7, P9 for Piastri, excuse me. These guys are taking grip penalties, so we are going to gain a couple positions, so that's good. I guess we have to go in. Okay, Alonso's on 79% confidence now. Let's lower his front wing angle a little bit, see if that affects his confidence in the setup a little. I think he's on a decent lap here. And... Does he beat Magnussen? Ah, oh, he's slower by one tenth. What about Piastri? He is faster than Alonso by only a three hundredth. Okay, so that's a very small gap, but they're pretty toe to toe or wheel to wheel on their pace here. A little bit of rain developing. Oh, it is raining. Okay, laps over. Laps over. We can't improve on it, but we're should be through because no one has done a lap yet. Everyone's done. We're in P four and P five through to the final round of qualifying because we went out early. So, big brain strategy. Always gotta watch the rain. 
So Gasly, Norris, Sonoda, Schumacher, and Perez are out. Of course, Ricardo, Vettel, Albon, Stroll, and Latifi were knocked out in Q1. Alonso, how are you doing? What's the... Okay, timings are on green. Sector times are green for Piastri as well. So Hamilton is probably the fastest, obviously, because that's a Mercedes we're talking about. Alonso goes two tenths slower than Hamilton. And Piastri slower than Alonso. Okay, maybe the adjustment that I made just before this qualifying session helped Alonso get find some pace here. Alonso is somewhat improving. Piastri is already improving on both sectors here. Let's see. Alonso. Moment of truth. Can you beat a 109? Oh, that's close. P9 for Alonso and... P8 for Piastri, P10 for Alonso, okay, Piastri has done a lot better, possibly because the gearbox is impeding Alonso, so that's good. We got the objective of P8, but I want to see how these penalties factor in now. Let's see, uh, P8 starting position. Tension continues to build here as race day begins. Alpine demonstrated a lot of grit during qualifying here and we'll be hoping that the hard work pays off when it comes to the race. This weekend, Red Bull displayed promise during qualifying. Now they need to capitalize on their grid position and get a good race under their belts. And the weather is sunny here today, apart from a few clouds. Let's hope they remain scattered on the horizon. I mean, did so show rain. for some fighting between the sand dunes here at the Dutch Grand Prix. It did show rain on the predictions, so... I wonder if there's a rain stint coming. You can see here, moderate rain expected. So let's continue real quick. Let me see if I can give Alonso a new gearbox. I mean, that should be fine considering it's within allocation. But I have a feeling this is going to be wet conditions. 85%. I think that's going to be wet. And then it's going to go enters. Somewhere around here. We'll think about it. We'll put it on the mediums for now, but a soft strategy could be possible. So we'll put him on B for now. Alonso's on B strategy. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good strat. Let's put him on the inter strat first, right? I think these guys will both go on the identical strategy. Uh, maybe what's, yeah, I'm, th I'm considering. We'll have to see. We'll keep a close eye on the weather. So let's start the Dutch Grand Prix then. Time for... Now we should have good weather. El Plan 3.0 me. Welcome news for the teams. Let's take a look at the Alpine. Not as close to the front as they might have wished for, but we know the race order can change a lot during those first few corners. And here's Alonso, the team's second driver. They're in the front half of the pack, so there's plenty of potential for them. The teams are ready to go. All right, here we go. 3 p.m. local. Time to get going in the Netherlands. Five red lights. And I forgot to make everyone push here. I'm going to have to click like a madman. Attack. Push. Uh, deploy. Attack. Push. Uh, deploy. There we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Down in P10, Piastri up into P6 with the penalties. Piastri going up to P5, P5 indeed. Let's go. He's in the top five. Marvellosa. Alonso up to P9, gets past Norris. He's right in the rear of Hamilton right now. Asking the question of Hamilton. All right. There we go, might get Hamilton here on the softs. Let's see what tires everyone's on. Ooh, very different strats going on here. Mediums and some on softs. We'll have to keep an eye on the weather, definitely. How's Piastri doing? Pushing on Verstappen. Alonso's down to P9, Hamilton overtook. That's fine. Let's keep pushing though. Come on, baby. Ooh. Piastri doing well to stay right behind Verstappen. It'll be helpful when we get DRS, of course. But he's in the slipstream of Verstappen, trying to stay ahead. Oh, Alonso going for a move around Hamilton in the background of Piastri's cam. 
All right, let's get it. Make the move stick, buddy. It's all good. Man, the side-by-side -side action here is... All right, there we go. Finally, Alonso makes it past. I think I want to check in... Check in with Piastri here. All right, we got to drop our ERS deployment here. We've been using a little too much. ERS is disabled. Copy. Okay, DRS enabled now, so I hope that we can get a move done. Okay, can we get the move done on the Haas or Piastri? Around the outside. Nice. Oh, it's close. There we go, we got the Haas there of Magnussen. Good job from Piastri. Alright, what about Alonso? Stuck in a train here. He is saving fuel a little bit. It was down at 1.6 and went down to 1.4. Back to 1.6 in the deficit. Because we are in a DRS train here. Threat of rain, it's getting darker, but still shows just cloudy condition. 15% chance right now. In the top right. Alonso overtakes Bottas. This is good. Straight down the main straight. Without DRS, by the way. What a move. Unless he had his DRS open, I didn't see it. I don't know. Come on, boys. I have faith in you. You know what? I actually think it's worth it. Sorry, guys. What I'm going to do... Put you on enters. Hit this lap. Hit confirm. And we're going to keep Alonso out. Box, box. I feel like this rain level is reaching 1 millimeter. It's 0 0.9 millimeters now and climbing. It's currently... It hit 1 millimeter now. It hit 1 mil now. Okay, Alonso overtakes Zhu Guan Yu. Around the outside. Nicely done. It is starting to drizzle a little harder, but I want to keep Alonso on the softs for now. Mainly because I want to see... Come on, give him a good stop. Also, I noticed when editing, whenever I say pit now, the tire change to the inters immediately before coming into the pits. So they're essentially taking off inters for inters in the in the cutscene. Everyone's in now, or intermediates. Alonso's still out on the softs. I say we call him in now for the inters. It doesn't seem like doesn't seem like it's gonna be too wet. Okay. Piastri's doing well. Um, I'm just gonna let him do his thing. This one is fine, you see? The softs to enters. Sometimes there's a glitch where the car literally has enters coming into the pits. So, it's a bit strange. Alright, this is looking good right now. Piastri's still... I think I got the undercut to some degree. Verstappen got a heavy undercut on Leclerc who had a massive gap but then lost out here. But I did get some kind of undercut here with Piastri, I think. Track is getting damp. I mean, it is still inter conditions. It's 2.4 mil right now. And climbing. Track is drying up. What the heck? What are you saying, man? You just said it's getting damp. It's going up to 2.5, 2.6. Hold on, how's this? Is a wet stint gonna come? Track condition changed to wet. Okay. Hold on, Piastri is in the lead right now. We got a pit for wets. Oh god. Uh, should we? Yeah, we're taking the risk with Piastri because he already needs... He needs another set anyway. So we are going to put him on the wets. Alonso is a different question. What do we do for Alonso? Do we pit him? Let's see. How good is your pit, Piastri? Seems like Leclerc went on the wets. That's why it was different. Okay. Alonso went down the straight right now. Getting overtaken by signs, so it is wet conditions. Okay, Piastri down to P5. Got a good pit stop, of course. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta pit him. 
I gotta pit Alonso here. He needs the wets. It's way too wet out here. Let's see, Alonso's pit stop. How good is it? Sector 1, yellow flag. What happened? Piastri is the only one in Sector 1 right now. Another car has gone wide. Who's wide Latifi ran Let's wide, excuse me. There. That was a good pit stop as well, I think. Ah. Taken I just kind of encroached on track limits there, that's all. 2.7 is okay. But we gotta tell Alonso to really push. Pedal to the metal now. Down to 5 millimeters of rain. Oh, we have had a crash on track. Crash, crash, crash. crash. Let's have a look. Let's Sonoda. What happened to you? Oh, he's gone straight on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't tell me the car's moving after that. He's out, surely. How is Tsunoda still in the race? Hold on. He's still driving after that crash. Are you kidding me? This game, man. Absolutely unbelievable. Okay, Alonso has caught up to Magnus in here. Come on, stay on him, buddy. What about Piastri? He's still 5.5 seconds behind. Okay, Alonso finally makes the move on Magnus, and let's take a look. Up the inside of turn 7, by the looks of it. Yeah, good move. Good move from Alonso. Really showing off his veteran driving skills. Alright, marvelous. Piastri's right in the rear of Sainz. Yeah, that's no problem, I know. But the track is still in terse conditions right now, so I don't want to go to the dries just yet. Dropping, now just below 2 millimeters here. We gotta go to the mediums, shouldn't we? We're going to the mediums. We're pitting you for mediums, same with Alonso. Putting you on mediums for the rest of the race. Yep, there we go. All our strategies went out the window, but we are going to move you to the mediums. Pit this lap. Pit confirm. Box this lap. Copy hard. Let's see. Okay, Piastri's a risk right now. It's just over. It's 1.18 millimeters of rain on track right now and dropping, to be honest. It is drying, but slowly. Come on, Piastri. I think I gave you a good strat here. I'm gonna let Alonso do another lap and then move to the dries. Can I call him in right now, do you think? Let's try. It's an immediate call in. Ah, he's coming in next lap. Okay, that's fine. Go, Piastri. Okay, 2.6. For Alonso, which is good. Signs overtakes Piastri, are you kidding me? Piastri, I gave you mediums, man. Okay, Piastri up to P4 now. We gotta be careful of fuel now. That's the thing I have to be uh, cautious about. Alright, we're so moving up fuel? to balanced. Okay. Oh, fastest lap for Piastri. Alright, I'll take it. Alonso's climbing up the table to P7. Oh, we've had a crash on track. Hold on. Hold the phone. Might be a safety car here. There's been a crash. Safety car. Safety car. Um, softs. I've got to yeah, I've got to keep an eye out. Hold on. If we were to pit, it's like 25 seconds max. So, um 25 seconds added here would be 30 somewhere, so we would leave P9. It's not worth pitting. He still has enough tire life left, even for Alonso. We should be fine. We we're staying out. Where's the crash? Car is retired. Safety car, safety car. We conserve, we conserve, and we harvest. Vettel crashed into turn 10. So this was the Aston Martin. What happened to you? Oh, he tried the overtake. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I'm surprised Vettel's okay for after that one. That is really bad. That's a very bad crash from Vettel. But safety car. We harvest. We go back down to everything conserve and saving. We gotta tell him to push immediately at the get-go. So we'll have to see.
Come on, baby. Safety car is in. All right, go attack, go push, and deploy. I'm giving you everything. Giving these guys everything in their arsenal to push on the cars ahead. Yes, the McLaren's in the way of the Mercedes. That's exactly what we needed. How are the tire conditions here? A lot of people on softs. Interesting. Alonso and Piastri, only, only cars on the mediums. Interesting. Very interesting. We may have some life in the tires left towards the end of the Grand Prix. Come on. Let's get it to the next. Oh no, Alonso locked up. No, you idiota. It's the second time. Second time he's locked up. Alonso, what are you doing, man? Keep it simple. Keep the driving simple. I'm upset. I'm absolutely upset. Alonso's outside the points now. He just made my job a lot harder. He's right in the rear of Joe, though. He's trying to make a move up into the points. One point would make us a lot better. Make us feel a lot better today, man. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, he's done. He's made the move stick, Alonso. Uh, he's got four seconds to go until Magnussen with only six laps left. Can we get at least a P2 finish here? Nah, he can't stick the nose ahead of the cars ahead. This is bad. Come on, Piastri. Stick your nose ahead of Verstappen's. Come on. That little bit, man. Be aggressive on the driving here. Come on. Come on, you beauty. Good job. Ah, it's side by side with Verstappen, which is not ideal right now. I need you to get ahead of him. Come on. This left hander. Come on. Come on, you beauty. Yes, P2. Come on, baby. Keep this. Keep this, man. I'm giving you everything. Use everything at your disposal. I don't care about the overtake. We have to cross the line here. We have to cross the line. Come on, I think we just scored a P2 with Piastri. This is last lap, right? It is. I think we've done it. We just beat Verstappen to the line. P2, baby. Let's go. Piastri's first podium. Let's go. Alonso with one point in the bag as well. Sadly, he locked up last position. But yes. Let's see what happened. Yes. And there it is. Yes. All right. Oh. P2. Let's go, baby. That's a podium. That's a podium. We're back up there. At least with PSG, not Alonso. But that's that's a dub for the team. Big dub. There we go, Alonso P10 to secure one point after his big mistake early doors. But man oh man was that tense between uh, Piastri and the Rogers. So you know crash into turn 12, hold on, something happened again. How many front wings is this guy losing? Oh my god, that's a rear wing gone man. Tsunoda should be out, no? Is he still driving? Of course he is. Without a rear wing, man. He's missing the DRS. <laughs> the DRS flap is gone, man. <laughs> man, this guy's had a bad day. Bad day in the office. But what a win for us. Big dub. Not a win as in the race, but getting a podium is a big win this in my was a books. Simply stunning performance Let's go. I imagine everyone at Alpine will be very satisfied with their performance today. This was thrilling to watch. They've done an excellent job and they deserve all the plaudits.
That's right, and they finish the race weekend in third place in the constructor stand. We maintain position, that's good. We now look ahead to the next round in Monza in Italy. The Temple of Speed is waiting, and the teams will be ready and raring to go. All right, time for Monza next, but what a result. P2, three positions gained in total in today's Grand Prix. Fernando Alonso, unlucky with the lockup, drops down one position by the end of the race. Leclerc, Piastri, and Verstappen into top three. There was no podium celebration, mainly because I think Piastri's face doesn't exist in the game. That's why I think they didn't show the podium celebration. I don't know. Russell, Hamilton, Sainz, Bottas, Perez, Magnussen, and Alonso in the top 10 points. Joe, Gasly, Ricardo, Schumacher, Norris, Sonoda, who's crashed twice, Albon, Latifi, and Stroll rounded the finishers with Vettel crashing out today. Driver standings wise, Alonso loses out of position to Hamilton, who gains 10 points today. He's two points ahead of Alonso. Piastri is up to P9 now, ahead of Esteban Ocon, who's, and has 60 points to his name. What a rise of Oscar Piastri. Let me tell you, he's doing very well, beyond my expectations. We lose out to Mercedes two points, not too much, but we do gain on Red Bull by one point today. So it's not too shabby, Alonso, but four points gap between Mercedes and Alpine. Let's see if we can extend this as we go into Monza, a big race weekend, of course. Any experience? Development point for Dewan. All right, let's do it. Let's go back to HQ and see how we can use that. 4.4 mil uh, earned today and 